had something prepared, but it turns out I didn't. So I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about me and why I'm here. Okay, so uh, let's start. When I first came to this college, um, it was a long time ago. <laughs> And I was, I didn't, wasn't even a part of the diversity club. Um, my, actually, my mom was a part of the diversity club, and she got me to come to a meeting, which is really interesting. And then I got um, kind of just like stuck with me. I was like, okay, I'll stay here. Uh, the reason I didn't get involved at first was because I was afraid of myself. I didn't really want to come out to myself. I didn't want to tell anybody about me. I, didn't, I was afraid what people would say when they found that, that I was a transsexual. Yeah, I was born a male and now I'm a woman. And it's weird because when, when people see me for the first time, the first thing they think is, oh, she's just this crazy feminist um, who likes gay people. And when I tell them, when I come out and tell my story as a trans woman, they look at me differently. They're like, how can you be, what do you mean you're a transsexual? What do you mean, prove it, show me your ID, tell me, show me that you're really, you were born a man. And I, am, and I just tell them, you know, I know who I was born, what I was born like, and what my parents raised. They raised a son, but they got a daughter. My father passed away when I was 13, and around that time is when I realized I thought I was gay, so I came out as being gay. And I didn't know what gay was, I just knew that all the other kids like me who were girly were gay. So I figured, okay, I'm gay. After my dad passed away, I started um, researching more and more about, you know, being gay and what it was like and, you know, what we did. And I remember the first time I searched the word gay, um, I got like 10,000 porn sites. <laughs> and I was just like, oh my God, <laughs> that's not me at all. <laughs> I don't like that. So I actually went to um, a meeting, it was a group that they held on Friday nights. A friend of mine, she's like, I know this amazing group, you need to come um, and check it out. There are more people like you. And I was like, what do you mean like me? You mean gay people? She's like, no, like you. And I was like, okay. So I went to the meeting and at this time, I looked so girly, people thought I was a lesbian. I walked in the door and they thought I was this big, dykey lesbian. And it was hilarious because I kept, trying to talk to this one guy because I thought he was really cute and he's like, I don't like women. And I was like, but wait, hold on, what, what are you talking about? So, and then I was like, okay, I, I guess I look like a girl. And then I met this trans woman and she started telling me about resources and um, websites and literature that I could read. And when I found out what I was and what it meant to, for me, I came out as a trans woman at 17. Going to high school at 17, uh, being transsexual was really, really scary because I went that that high school I went to. I went there as a as a boy my sophomore year. Came back my junior year as a girl, and I had a lot of different obstacles to overcome, mainly using the bathroom and changing for PE. It was really interesting and crazy for me. I persevered and I got through um, high school. I had a little bit of an attitude adjustment at first. I used to be this really shy person and then I became this raging um, bitch. <laughs> I became this radical crazy person that I am now who speaks out and lets everyone know about me. Um, after, after graduating high school and coming to college and learning about my voice and learning to speak my mind and not let people censor me and not let people tell me that who I was was wrong and disgusting. I am out and proud to be a transsexual woman. I will always be proud to be a transsexual. I think that it takes pride in saying that and I think it takes incredible strength for people to come out as trans people because there are a lot of trans people who don't come out, who are afraid to come out because trans in the trans community there's tons and tons of deaths that happen. People are getting killed here in the United States here in Fresno, here in California, and all over the world, people who are just being themselves are being murdered because other people don't like it. Which, is, which doesn't make any sense to me. It's like saying, it's okay if you wear pants, and I don't like pants, that it's okay for me to go and hurt you because I don't like the way you were dressed. And that's what's happening right now. That's why I, um, 
along with some other people before, with, before Trans Emotion started doing Transgender Remembrance, there was a lot of organizations who got together. That was one of my biggest, biggest accomplishments for myself. It's when we did the first ever a Transgender Day of Remembrance in Fresno, which we were really scared because when we found out, when people found out, we we're like, okay, we're gonna have the KKK, we're gonna have everybody come that hates us and try to burn us down and get us out of there. It turned out really well. I was very surprised. Um, my mom actually spoke. Um, and mind you, my mom is was before was a strict Catholic. She thought I was a sinner, and my grandparents told me I was going to go to hell, and I was a freak and a weirdo, and they tried to put me on medication, which it just kind of like was a free high, pretty much, because it didn't really work. <laughs> As there's nothing wrong with me, um, so I realized that. And then when my mom spoke for the first time and said that she called me. Her daughter, it was like a very powerful moment in my life. And uh, the next moment in my life that was powerful was when my youngest brother, who hates, and I do, and he hates gay people with a passion. And he worked on the Yes On A campaign. He does not like me and anybody that I hang out with. He just thinks that it's wrong. Well, he graduated high school with the help of myself and some friends who tutored him and stuff, we helped him. On his graduation day, when they asked him, who was your biggest inspiration? He said, my sister, Katrina. And that was a moment that I like broke down and cried. I don't really cry for him, but I cried that day when he called me his sister in front of his entire class. And so that was a powerful moment in my life. So now what I do is I encourage young trans people to come out, to speak out, and be proud of who they are and not let anybody tell them what they're doing is wrong. So I am I'm now travel all over the place talking to different people. I do speak at, uh, at Fresno State sometimes when professors ask for me. I do give um, seminars and let people know about life as a transsexual. Um, but I'm glad that I'm here today to share with you all, find folks, my story, and to know more about who I am and what I do as an activist. I, have a lot of different things. Follow me on Facebook, it's really cool, I love Facebook. Um, it's just Katrina Marie Nunez, you can find me on Facebook and it's wonderful, I love Facebook. Uh, and yeah. if you have any questions for me, I'm totally cool to answer anything about organizations I'm starting and stuff, so I'll be around, so thank you. And we're gonna have Zoyer come up now.